this, this wellness thing, I, I tried it. I did. I gave it a go. I sought harmony and inner stillness. I read somewhere in one of the self-help books, God, I love that title, that you can... You are supposed to divest yourself of the outer claddings that uh, we wear every day. For, in plain English, that means spending time at home naked. <laughs> so I did. Not, not a pretty sight. <laughs> no. Sorry for those of you who are going to have nightmares about that later. <sighs> and what nobody tells you is just how dangerous it is to be naked in the average apartment. Think about it. Food preparation, for example. <laughs> yeah. Heat sources, sharp knives, boiling liquids. Great. Anyway, undeterred, there I am in the kitchen making a lovely meal, the English culinary equivalent, equivalent well, I can't even talk my own language, can I? Of Adam in the Garden of Eden, the truly naked chef. I'm there chopping ingredients with exaggerated surgical care. Onions in the pan, sizzling away. <sighs> Need to pee. So I sashay, sashay through into the bathroom. <sighs> sigh of relief. A, a very short-lived sigh of relief, as it turns out. Because apparently if you chop the really, really spicy Mexican chilies, <laughs> you need to wash your hands before you go to the bathroom. <laughs> Things start to itch. I love the fact that all the women are laughing here. <laughs> Male genital pain. Ha ha! <laughs> God, yeah, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> so... Things are itching, things are burning, things really, really start to burn. At this point, I've abandoned atheism, and I am praying to whichever God might be listening for an end to this Bruegel-esque vision of genital hell. And then through the agony, I remember reading in an Indian cookbook that you can cool down a hot curry with yogurt. So I sprint through into the kitchen, fling open the fridge, grab the organic, of course, 2% Ya Natürlich yogurt, and flop. Ah, sigh of relief for real this time. Bing bong, the doorbell rings. Shit. Forgetting my state, uh, sweaty, naked, uh, grimace of pain with relief over the top of it, crying, cock, yogurt. I throw open the front door, and there stands none other than Brother Jebediah of the Jehovah's Witnesses <laughs> and his colleague. They take one look at this vision of wellness and nearly break the sound barrier in their haste to retrieve it. Strangely, they've never been back.